better come on Into my kitchen Yeah, it's going to be raining I don't zucchini and this, this different kind of squash, uh, you know, summer squash. Mm -hmm. And I asked this man, everybody was Italian, everybody spoke like they'd just gotten off the ship, they never like my grandmother. <laughs> and uh, I said, um, I said, how did you cook this squash? It reminded me of home in that old, mm -hmm. that kind of startling way. It was, uh, it just tasted good. And he, he went back to the kitchen, came back out, and what they had done was simply cook it in olive oil, I was say, olive oil. with <laughs> salt and pepper, and they had sprinkled a little Parmesan cheese on top. Mm -hmm. And it was so good and baked that them. I decided we, we should make it today. And then did they bake it or did they do it in no, a skillet? No, they just did it in a skillet. Mm. And it was quick and it was, I don't know, you see a few like that. I mean, that's when what we When you use water with, with zucchini and summer squashes, the, everything gets so waterlogged. It does. So it does. It doesn't, it's no it doesn't matter it's if you're even just steaming it a little bit. Right. Yeah. So now you're just going to put in a skillet? It's a We're going to slice it up. We're going to slice and it so up. And so you're trying to like brown it? Yeah, well, it does get rather brown. I'm going to get I'm going to get the skillet out here. There. I think I've washed this already. Excuse me. Okay. I want to get no, go right in. memory when I serve and I see this in other home cooks. I don't see it in the come lately's to the kitchen who st are starting up. But there's a, just a compulsion that when you serve plates from the stove, you know, or whatever, mm -hmm. that you always save a little bit. Uh, do you have that, Betsy? You always save a little bit of whatever you serve. See, all of you are much younger. Yeah. But in yeah. life, and I, I think it's primal. I think there must have been a something that made you instinctively hold back mm -hmm. in case tomorrow Somebody you were starving oh. to death. Oh. Oh. There's something, because it's senseless. To, to me, it's I mean, sense. sometimes you're putting away, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Yeah. How, much, how wide am I cooking these? Or how They're about like this? Wait a minute here. Uh, pretty thin. Well, I have Hindu friends who say that uh, it's very impolite to, to eat everything on the plate. Really? Uh, because it implies that you uh, were not well fed and, and that uh, it's an insult to the, the, the cook and the people in the home and also uh, to leave some for the, the gods. And, I, when, and when my friend told me that, I said, that's really interesting because as a child, I, we were told in the United States, clean right. your plate for the starving children of right, India. Right, right, <laughs> right. Yeah. Oops. Should we get these out of the way? All right, that's good. Now I'm just going to coat this with oil. So just the oil in the pan, not... Just the oil in the pan, and I'll oh, kind of stir okay. them around so they get covered, and then we'll do the same thing. There's a lot of repetition here. We're using a lot of olive oil today, and I wish I were doing a little more variations on the theme. That's good. Okay, I'm going to start in on that pine kettle upside down cake. Okay. Um, here we go. Oops. Oh, you know, I forgot I was going to put those blast biscuits in uh, cream, perhaps. Well, you didn't make them yet, did you? No, oh, I didn't finish them. I'll do that. But I'll get this going first so that we'll have it with our cup for dessert. Okay, four tablespoons of butter. Probably just shorter tubes. I think it sort of tastes better. With light brown? Light brown. It's better than the dark. But it's really doesn't matter. What's technically the difference between the light it and the dark brown? just has more molasses on it, the, the darker. Do they take it out sooner, or, or how, how is it? 
process, do you know? So why don't you put it on here and I'll take it over. I, I really actually saw them doing that. That's his treatment up at the you know, C and H sugar thing. Well, it's obvious that they do. They, they let the uh, lighter go longer. And it's, it's centrifugal force is what they're doing. I mean, that's what they do it in these enormous vats. Okay. <clears throat> Now, I want you to taste, if you want to. I cut off too much of this, and I can't open that. <laughs> yeah, those three in the middle there aren't too perfect. <laughs> when it's boiling, I get it. <laughs> so this is that Parmesan, is that? Yeah, that's and what's where it called? I got that Dutch Parmesan. That Dutch Parmesan or whatever. Yeah. What's it called? What's the, is the name well, of it? Well, it's just called Dutch Parmesan. Oh, okay. Easy <laughs> Better come on in my kitchen.